Manual mesh configuration is a tedious process where you have to configure each AP one by one from the web interface. For the auto mesh process, the mesh route is configured with default parameters. All the other access points not connected to the LAN automatically have mesh enabled as non-root with default parameters defined for the default mesh SSID. In this example, the AP connected to the switch is the only one in the cluster and the mesh feature is not yet enabled. From the AP window, click the AP to reach the configuration page. In the network section, open the AP interface window and edit the backhaul zero interface. This is the downlink interface of the AP mesh route used to establish the mesh link with the other non-root access points. Since you are keeping the default settings, activate the mesh feature and set this AP as root. Return to the AP configuration window and check that the access point has the mesh function enabled. Now unpack an access point and power it up with an external power supply. Since the AP is not connected to the LAN, the mesh is enabled automatically. This AP will use the default mesh parameters to build a mesh link the same as the root AP. For the initial communication, both APs will use a hidden default mesh SSID. Once the second AP is powered up, it will be listed in the cluster after three minutes in the web interface of the mesh root AP. When this new AP is listed in the cluster of our AP connected to the network, the mesh link is established between both APs. In the AP configuration window, check that both APs have the mesh feature activated. Click the Mesh Root AP from the AP interface menu and verify the speed of the backhaul zero link is greater than zero. This means that the mesh link is active and data can be exchanged. 